After Zoey 101 became one of Nickelodeon's highest rated and most successful shows in the 2000s decade. Hey. Hey. Ah! Oh. Ah. After Zoey 101 went on to win three Young Artist Awards, two Kids Choice Awards, and more. Save me. From what? That. That's Quinn, she lives in my dorm. After Zoe 101 released a soundtrack album and two video games titled Zoe 101 and Zoe 101 Field Trip Fiasco for Game Boy Advance, Zoe 101 has been off air for almost 15 years now, believe it or not. Beginning its run in 2005, the Nickelodeon series enjoyed four seasons of solid ratings and a loyal fan base before ending in 2008. With 61 episodes, the show has been labeled as one of Nickelodeon's most successful television series ever. Zoe 101 was also the most expensive production ever for a Nickelodeon series, as it was shot completely on location in Malibu, California. Zoe 101 was Nickelodeon's best performance for a series premiere in almost eight years. The premiere of the episode Goodbye Zoe was the highest rated live action show ever on Nickelodeon, with over 7.3 million viewers. The series finale, Chasing Zoe, was the highest rated show on all of television for all kid demos, including teens 12 to 17, beating out American Idol. The series officially ended production in August 2007 after the shooting of its final season, which aired in 2008. Rumors began to circulate that the star of the series, Jamie Lynn Spears' unexpected pregnancy, made the season controversial. After reuniting with many of her former castmates on All That, aired on July 11, 2020, Spears revealed that she was interested in developing a possible revival and that discussions had already been underway. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer and today we're doing a series titled Where Are They Now? We're taking a look at the star-studded cast of Zoe 101 and what they've all been up to these days. Personally, I was a huge fan of the show and was absolutely heartbroken when the series was done. I mean, maybe some of us follow Jamie Lynn Spears and know what the real life Zoe has been up to, but what about the others like Chase? If you want to see more Where Are They Nows, let us know down in the comments who you want us to document next. How about some more Nickelodeon shows? Maybe The Amanda Show or all that. They have some crazy stories. Anyways, let's get into this video. <laughs> We'll kick things off with the star of the series. Many fans speculated that Zoe 101 ended due to her pregnancy at 16 years old. Pop star Britney Spears' teen sister is pregnant. pregnant. Jamie Lynn is having a baby. Nickelodeon must be furious. I mean, what was she thinking? At 16, I was pregnant and I was going to become a mother. However, Jamie Lynn Spears has cleared all that up. In a now deleted Instagram post from 2019, the actress said that the show ended because her contract was finished, not because she was pregnant. In a 2020 cover story for Nylon, the actress said that she didn't become pregnant until probably six months after we wrapped or something like that. Jamie Lynn gave birth to her first child with ex-boyfriend Casey Aldridge, a daughter named Maddie Bryan, in June 2008. Spears and Aldridge had an on-again, off-again relationship which included an engagement, but eventually split for good in 2010. Jamie Lynn went on to marry Jamie Watson in March 2014 in Louisiana and gave birth to a daughter named Ivy Joan four years later. Shortly after her time on Nickelodeon, Spears had switched her focus to singing, much like her older sister, Britney Spears. Instead, she went on to release country music, dropping an album in 2014 titled The Journey, and collaborated with her sister for a track called Chillin' With You. The Zoe 101 alum also performed at Nashville's Grand Ole Opry and the 2017 CME Music Festival. In addition, Jamie Lynn participated in a tribute to Britney at the 2017 Radio Disney Music Awards. Jamie Lynn had finally made her return to Nickelodeon in 2018 as a contestant on the show Double Dare. Most recently, Jamie Lynn starred in a Netflix series called Sweet Magnolias based on Cheryl Wood's book series. The show hit the streaming service in May of 2020 and just got renewed for a second season in July. In 2018, she appeared in an advertising campaign as well with her daughter Maddie for Kraft. 
Spears is quite the influencer on social media as well and endorses products such as beauty and wellness ones on Instagram. In the past, she has partnered with FabFitFun, KiwiCo, and much more. So clearly, Zoe's been busy, but what about Zoe's little brother on the show, played by Paul Butcher? He definitely stepped out of the spotlight after Zoe 101. When it came to acting, he had a few guest and other minor roles for a number of movies and TV shows, one of the most notable roles being a guest star in the season 5 premiere of Criminal Minds and a reoccurring role on My Music. In 2008, Butcher has made two cover versions of the songs Gimme That by Chris Brown and This Love by Maroon 5. Apparently, Paul has turned his focus into music and he has been releasing music since 2010. He released his debut single Don't Go in 2010, followed by releasing a song in January 15 called Stop Calling. More recently, Paul has covered tracks like Mercy from Shawn Mendes and Love Yourself from Justin Bieber. What have you been up to? Um, oh, just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Um, look, for, for a while after I filmed that show, I was very much into music. I um, am still passionate about music. I play guitar and I sing. Um, it's something that I love to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to school right now, actually. Zoe's best friend and love interest from the show, Chase, played by Sean Flynn, was yet another star to step out of the limelight after Zoe 101. He stayed pretty low key, but reports claim that he appears to be based in Atlanta, Georgia, where he's working as a producer at an entertainment company called Donatello Arm. Shortly after Zoe 101, Flynn appeared in movies like The Last of Robin Hood and Return of the Killer Shrews. He also slipped back into his Nickelodeon character for the 2015 web short, What Did Zoe Say? His name is Chase Matthews, <laughs> and he's one of the funniest, coolest, nicest guys in the world. And sometimes, I kind of think he has a little crush on me. Oh my God! <laughs> she knew? Sean claimed after Zoe 101, he was very much into music, was studying math at Valley College, and continued to act in television and plays. A former child actor was the hero of the day for coming to the rescue of a baby after the car it was riding in crashed. After Zoe 101, Matthew Underwood, who played the heartthrob and sometimes jerk, Logan, directed and starred in a bunch of shorts and TV movies like The Unicorn Sisters, The Alien, and The Golden Stars. His Zoe 101 co-star Flynn also starred in some of his projects, believe it or not. Sadly, Underwood also made headlines for all the wrong reasons in 2012, when the actor was arrested on a charge of possession of drugs in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Police also found him in a bedroom with a 17-year-old girl. Months later, Underwood was charged with violating probation after being seen at a hookah lounge that he co-owned. Underwood made headlines again in 2017, this time after he rescued a baby that was found in a crashed car with two adults who allegedly overdosed on heroin. Zoe 101 fans are usually creeping his page too because Underwood's Instagram is filled with photos of him on film sets and snaps of him and his former Zoe 101 co-stars. Save me. From what? That. Now let's see what Christopher Massey is up to. After Zoe 101, Christopher Massey went on to produce a music career. He's released R&B tracks like Get A Bag, Bank Head, Bounce Back, and dropped two albums in 2019. Massey also appeared on an episode of Celebrity Family Feud in 2017 with his famous brother Kyle Massey, who played Corey on Disney Channel's That's So Raven. In April 2016 in Las Vegas, Massey was arrested on charges of domestic violence and booked for misdemeanor domestic violence after he allegedly shoved his ex-girlfriend. But today, there's a happier ending. These days, he shares two children, a daughter named Bella and a son named Carter with Bria Miller. The actor also has a daughter named Mariah with his ex-girlfriend, Cassily Jackson. Um, the cast and I, when we were in the table read for the first half, before we got the second half, we reached the end and we were like, oh my god, what happens now? After Zoe 101, Aaron Sanders, who played Quinn, starred on another popular Nickelodeon show, Big Time Rush, where she played Camille Roberts, an inspiring actress and love interest of Logan. How old are you? 19. Sanders also had guest starred on shows such as Mad Men, Castle, and CSI Miami. In 2014, Sanders portrayed Tracy Scott in the Lifetime movie Guilty at 17. You may have also caught her on the miniseries Six Degrees of Separation. Off screen, Erin identifies as bisexual and also loves to teach yoga classes via live stream in her spare time. Wow, you scream a lot. I'm in 101! We're roommates! Should we hug? Let's hug! <laughs>
Alexa Nicholas, who played Nicole on the series, was yet another star from Zoe 101 to go quiet after the show wrapped. After leaving Zoe 101, the actress guest starred on shows like The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Supernatural, and Criminal Minds. Her last roles were 2013 episodes of Mad Men and The Walking Dead. Nicholas was previously married to musician Mike Milos, however now she's in a relationship with Michael Gray, and the couple welcomed their first child together named Nova in November 2020. On her Instagram, she just posted a trailer for her project Metanoia, which is coming out soon. Wow. I guess the perfect roommate has spoken. You might remember Kristen Herrera who played Dana, who famously left the show after season one, ditching California so she could be part of an exchange student program in Paris. She went on to play Lourdes del Toro on episodes that aired in 2008. However, Herrera joined her Zoe 101 co-stars for a reunion on All That. Based on her Instagram, which is now private, Herrera travels quite a bit these days and has recently visited destinations like Hawaii and Greece. Herrera revealed she's engaged to Daniel Novak. Do we know you? No. Well, then you want to tell us why you're sitting in the middle of our- Shh! I'm trying to talk to the dead. Finally, here's a star from the show you've probably seen more of than Zoe herself after the series ended. After Zoe 101, Victoria Justice, who played Lola, went on to do big things and got her own Nickelodeon show called Victorious. The show, which also starred Ariana Grande, lasted for four seasons between 2010 and 2013. Despite solid ratings, the show was cancelled and many fans questioned why it ended in the first place. Fans blamed Ariana Grande to be the reason for the end of the show, while Ariana shifted the burden of getting the show cancelled to Victoria Justice. But hey, I think that's a story for another Where Are They Now? What do you guys think? Victoria has gone on to do minimal guest appearances on rural ad television and began recording solo music in 2020. Her comeback single Treat Myself was released in December 2020. Alright, I think I'll bring this Where Are They Now to an end right there. After checking out the cast members of Zoe 101, what did you guys think? If you'd like to see more of this series, be sure to let me know who's next. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!